How can I feel a sense of being at peace or at home with myself to truly like myself? Well, this is interesting because there's a part of you that not only really likes yourself, but loves yourself. And what we're doing is rewiring a brain that's typically used to thinking all those thoughts incessantly that just so happen to cross our mind and distract us and keep us obsessed with the world and our finiteness and all the things that we think of the world of time and space. Then there's another part of us that knows this ultimate beauty and goodness and awesomeness and creativity that we have access to if we only keep our eyes off the world long enough and turn them inward to discover who we truly are. Now your question is how can you feel a sense of being at peace and at home? Become aware of the field of awareness within you. And I mean a field of awareness, it's a vastness. You can feel it now. It feels like a widening and an opening whenever you tap it. You can feel as though your chest is expanding and your solar plexus is loosening up. They, in the Buddhist tradition, they often say soft belly, soft belly, because we hold so much tension in our power center in the solar plexus of us. And our minds are tight and tense and our brows are furrowed and our hearts are closed because we feel as though we have to protect ourselves when we're in that place that we feel like we're not good enough. When you become aware of the field of awareness, you can relax. Now I'm going to give you a little taste of it just so that you know that you can access it at any time. Just take a look around you now and wherever you are, whatever room you're in, wherever you happen to be, and notice the most important thing. What's the most important thing? Many people say when I ask that question, I'm the most important thing, or you know, my Buddhist statue is the most important thing, or my plant is alive, it's a beautiful thing. And they point to something that's finite or material or limited, including ourselves. And we're important, all these things are important, but none of it exists without the space. So shift your perception right now to align with the vastness and the spaciousness in the room that you're in. And you'll notice that that's the most important thing in the room. It doesn't exist unless you're aligning and recognizing the spaciousness. You never know the quality of life. So just take some nice big deep breaths. The deeper, the wider, the more expansive, the better. And then exhale, let go of all that alignment with finiteness and let yourself just be for once in a while, just let the thoughts come and go and come and go and come and go again and align with the vastness. It's like the clouds moving along the sky. Let yourself identify with the sky and let the clouds come and go, the thoughts come and go, the thoughts about yourself being not good enough come and go. And the more you start to watch them, the more you realize, why am I grabbing that thought? Why did I choose that thought when there are so many other things I could be thinking now or focusing upon? The other way to get that sense of being at peace and at home with yourself, that's the question you asked to really like yourself, is to start focusing on appreciation. Find the tiniest, smallest things to be appreciative about. And just waking up in the morning, having a soft pillow, letting yourself align with peace and connect, click in with the divinity of you, the vastness of you before you even begin to attempt living a day. Because it's hard to live a day disconnected and feeling as though you're trying and striving for something that you don't even know what you're striving for or trying so hard to do or to get or to be. What you're striving for, you already are. Just let yourself connect with that joy and peace and love and the vastness within you that contains all of it. And yes, you can be happy now. Just let yourself let go of all attachment to results and all the outside world for a little bit. You'll still function really well, I promise you, in the world of form. You'll still be fine when you show up. You'll make wise choices and decisions based on what resonates and more with peace within you. And, and you'll do just fine but let yourself just take that time to be kind to yourself and to focus on the thoughts that really bring you peace and joy and love and connectivity rather than separation and guilt and 
and all those things that feel as though it's such a hard world to navigate. Choose once again, choose to align with the divinity of you and everything else comes. There's a line I believe that's in the Bible, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all the rest will be added unto you. The reason is, is that when you connect, then you can see the things that you already have. They become more clear to you. They become more, uh, you know, your lens gets focused into them. And you see, what was I thinking? I thought I was lost. I thought I was separate. I thought I was not important. And you start to see that the divine leads you down a path that's very deliberately loving and wanting to awaken you to the truth of who you really are. So good luck. You're on the path. Just stay here. Stay the course. Just know that when you focus on love, what you focus on, you get more of. And when you focus on the joy and the peace, you'll get more of that too. Promise you.